The beneficial health effects of regular exercise and increased cardiorespiratory fitness are often underappreciated by the medical community and the patients they serve. Consider that, number one, physically active people are up to 50% less likely to develop cardiovascular disease. Secondly, regular exercisers who are hospitalized with chest pain have better short-term outcomes. Third, moderate to vigorous physical activity and increased levels of cardiorespiratory fitness are associated with a decreased risk of developing cancer and better survival outcomes among individuals diagnosed with it. And last but certainly not least, physically active and or fit people are less likely to develop COVID, be hospitalized for it, or die from it. What have we recently learned about how much exercise is enough? The latest World Health Organization guidelines suggest 150 to 300 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous exercise throughout the week. Why the shorter time for vigorous exercise? Because it provides greater survival benefits in less time. However, vigorous exercise is also associated with an increased risk of cardiac events. In fact, strenuous exercise both protects against and can trigger heart attacks and sudden cardiac death. Who is at greatest risk? The habitually sedentary middle-aged or older person with hidden or known heart disease who performs unaccustomed vigorous to high intensity physical exertion. Structural abnormalities, most notably an enlarged heart called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a commonly cited cause of sudden cardiac death during strenuous or competitive physical activity in younger persons. Fortunately, cardiovascular screening, including a quality resting and exercise electrocardiogram, commonly known as ECG, can be useful in identifying underlying cardiovascular or structural heart disease. The exercise ECG in particular can be helpful in identifying inadequate blood flow to the heart called ischemia or threatening heart rhythm irregularities not apparent at rest, which can trigger sudden cardiac death. To this end, Nimble Heart's convenient, wearable, reusable, and clinical grade FDA approved exercise ECG monitor can help to proactively manage cardiovascular health by providing valuable surveillance data that may suggest the need for changing exercise practices based on your ECG findings and medical review. In some cases, additional diagnostic testing may be recommended. If you think you are too young to have heart disease because you are symptom-free, think again. Every year, increasingly, people in their late 30s, 40s, and 50s are dying from heart disease and dying suddenly. And women should not consider themselves protected from cardiovascular diseases, especially after menopause. Indeed, over the past two decades, the prevalence of heart attacks has increased substantially in middle-aged women. What's the bottom line? Number one, be proactive regarding your heart health. Number two, recognize that exertion-related cardiovascular events may be prevented through the use of screening exercise ECGs, which can identify underlying signs of heart disease, even in persons with no symptoms. And finally, adherence to contemporary exercise guidelines, specifically stopping exercise when experiencing warning signs or symptoms and seeking medical review can also be helpful in this regard.